I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Welcome as we reflect on the word of God today. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we approach your mercy throne this morning with thanksgiving for your God Almighty. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life and good health. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for this chance to share your word. I pray that Lord you come and minister. Cleanse me and use me as a vessel to carry your word, a vessel you can use in your household. So that Lord you bless us all, you are the listeners and all those who watch, that you bless us and guide us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today is a, a special day because it's a day of thanksgiving for the, for the institution of the Holy Communion. And uh, the Holy Communion, in the Holy Communion, Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. As we partake, we remember what Jesus went through. And so this morning, I thought that we should discuss or we should think about remembrance. Remembrance. And so I have taken the text of Deuteronomy chapter 8, reading from verse uh, 2 to 18, and I encourage you to read this um, uh, passage and see what God says about remembrance. But I just want us to look at verse 2. Deuteronomy 8, verse 2, which says, Remember, remember how the Lord your God led you all the way in the desert these 40 years to humble you and to lead you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commandments. Remember, remember. In fact, the book of Deuteronomy is all about remembering. Moses reminds the people of things that God had said and done, so it's all about remembrance. Remember not to forget. Remember is, is just not, not to forget. To keep in mind, to have focused thoughts so that you, you, you think about the, that a particular thing or a particular person so that you do not forget. In this uh, uh, passage, the Israelites were urged to remember how the Lord God had led them in the desert for 40 years. So they were asked to consciously think about their past. Think about that past. To consciously make an effort and think about the, the past. What did God do to them? And so this morning, I invite us, I invite all of us to that call. We remember, we, I, to recall, to think about God's dealings with each one of us. Think about how God has been uh, leading you, how God has been guiding you, how God has been dealing with you as an individual and your family, that this morning, focus your thoughts on particular provisions, particular dealings, particular expressions of God's love in your life. So that you, you, you can see, eh? what has God done? What about protection? As God, God's protection, do I take it for granted or do I... Uh, in the evening, go and, 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 and see, this, is, this, has been, this was God. This is God who saved me through this or who took me through this uh, day. You see the Israelites, for 40 years, they even forgot to remember that for 40 years, God led them. Their, their clothes were not torn. Even their shoes were not torn. And even their feet did not swell. And because they didn't notice this, actually he says, they never even noticed. Because they didn't notice this, then they didn't give thanks. 
Then they didn't think that God had done it. They, they overlooked the blessing. And that's why this morning we are asked to remember. And I challenge each one of us to remember. To take notice. Try and see. And say, surely here God helped me. I would not have gone through this without God. So notice. Notice the daily blessings that God bestows on us. Protection. You, you, you have seen uh, videos of people, something happens and, and uh, falls down and a person who was there just moved, had uh, just moved out. That is not, that's not a chance. It is God who has worked. So there are things, there are times that we go through life and when you look, you say, hey, I escaped that. Or that vehicle, you know, you are just crossing the road. And after you reach the other side or you, something holds you back and the vehicle comes that way. And you say, hey, this is God. If you notice those, then we, we shall be full of thanksgiving. So that we do not go through life and we think, we take it for granted that this has to happen. That we leave, you, you, you have left your house this morning and you just take it for granted that it, it, it is chance that has helped, or we say luck. It is, we, are, we are in good luck. Good luck that we have left here. I want to remind us this morning that nothing happens by chance. Nothing happens because of good luck. So this morning, remember the past. See God's hand in your life and humble yourself enough to say thank you, Lord. I would not have done this without you. And this is why we are, uh, uh, Moses, and God is calling us to remember, to remember. Many times, we take credit for what we have not done. We take credit for things that we have. This morning, I want us to think about that. And then when we take credit for what we have, in fact, we start to be proud and we think that it's my power. It is the strength of my hands. It is because I'm clever. Because I can plan well. This is why I, I have this wealth. Or this is why I have done one, two, three. And that's why you see that wealth and even physical prosperity make very many people forget God because you work and you think it is me. But this morning we are being reminded, remember that it's God who gives you even the ability to work, even the ability to read, even the ability to produce wealth. Because there are many people who, who do these things and do them so well, and they, yet they keep on struggling. But what God has done, it, he has blessed you. So remember that it is God who, has, who blesses the labor of your hands. Eh? We always pray like that and say, God, bless the labor of, you, of my hands. So when God has given you wealth, what God has given you, it, remember that it is him who has given you. I want you to remember prayers you have prayed and God has answered. Pray as you have prayed. And some you are still waiting. But you have peace of mind. It is God who has done that. So we should go back to him. And thank him. Thank him for, 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 for answering. Thank him for everything that he has given. That you, your hands are able to work. They, they, God has given you work to do. That is God who has blessed you. And when we remember this and thank God, then we, 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 we become faithful in what he has done, he has given us. Then we do not have to wait for a supervisor to be there so that we do the work well. We shall know it's God who has given this work to me and I'm going to do it so well so that because I'm working for him. And that's why the Israelites were being to remember, do not forget because Forgetting, that's something else that I will talk about just now. Another thing I would want us to remember is our daily provision. The Israelites were told, when you eat and you are, you, you, you are fi filled up, when you eat and you are full, you are satisfied, 
praise the Lord for it. Remember, it is God who has given you your daily provisions. And so, even our daily provisions, when we eat and we are satisfied, our daily needs should remind us, should help us to remember and constantly remember of the Lord's goodness in our lives. So that we do not take for granted, I can plant, I can do this, I can... No, it's God's goodness, God's uh, faithfulness in our lives. So that in, in doing that then, when we remember that, then we humble ourselves in gratitude and thank God for, for, for what he has done. So this morning, very simply, the call is to remember what God has done. Why? Because if we forget what he has done, then we become ungrateful. We become ungrateful towards his blessings. Two, we become disobedient to God because we do not know him. We do not know him. And three, we become proud. So the only way to fight against these things is to remember what he has done and to thank him for everything. May the Lord God bless you and protect you even as you go through this day. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your word. Reminding us to remember. To remember that we cannot do this life without you. You are the one who has walked with us and you are the one who will continue to walk with us. Help us, Lord. Help my uh, uh, listeners. Help those who uh, watch that this day we shall take a moment to remember of your goodness, to remember of your protection, provision, and guidance in our lives. And we shall thank you and give you all honor and glory. Be with us and bless my listeners in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Lord God bless you, guide you, and protect you in all things. Amen.